Everyone's always complaining. Mexico's not safe. Mexico's gonna do. It's like, yeah, whatever. Every place isn't safe. I don't have to look over my shoulder every second when I'm out with Nina. I can feel in the States, like, fear of, like, okay, where is she in relation to where I'm going, where are the exits. You gotta pay a gringo tax every now and then. Uh, I think the laptop got turned. Yeah, there we go. Hey guys, so today we're gonna try and do a video about five reasons you should move to Merida if you're considering it. We have Julian here today. Hopefully he'll be cooperative. If not, you know, it's okay. I'll just get up and then we'll do something. But I do wanna say like, Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for liking and commenting, subscribing. Everything you do really does help us to continue to build the channel. One thing I do want to point out is that our channel is always going to show you different sides of travel. You know, you usually get the drone shots. You usually get, you know, the woman walking through the little, like, uh, what is it called? Like the, you know, like the nice Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can do those things. <laughs> But you're also gonna see people sneeze. <laughs> and you're gonna see laundry, like we have laundry, you know? Like who doesn't have laundry when they travel? It's just, you never really get to see the different ways you can go about um, doing this, so. Yeah, at this point, we're not even really traveling, we're just living, we're just we're trying just to living. survive. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. the rest of everybody. Yeah. You have the Julian, you have the floor. Five reasons you should move to Merida. Reason number one, the cost of living. Cost of living is okay. It's not great, it's not exceptional. Depends where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And what part of the city you move to. Mm -hmm. If you go to the south of Merida, you, you're not gonna have any problems. If you go to the outskirts, cool. We're a little bit in the city. Mm -hmm. Like north, the north is a bit more expensive and central is gonna be, you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay a hefty fee. For that. Depends. What? To live in Central? I've seen some stuff. Why are we living it's just in Central? Because I don't want to live in Central. No. It's very noisy in the traffic and mm -hmm. everything. I think like that's why it might be not as expensive. People want to live up here. Yeah, true. But also cost of living as far as like food. Uh, if you shop at the markets, you are gonna get better prices. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you know, if you shop at Walmart, you shop at Chidrawi, you still can get you know all right prices, but you can substantially cut your like food if you go to the markets and if you cook mm -hmm. also going out to eat is not super expensive it's not. it's not it depends what you're trying to get again but um, true you can find some restaurants where you're gonna yeah. yeah if a lot of the ingredients are like imported or mm -hmm. it's just a fancy place yeah it's not hugely cheaper than the u.s but it's you'll notice a difference yeah yeah. Transportation is good, so cost of living as far as that. Mm -hmm. You can find uh, a driver, like my dad, when he was here, he was like, Cameron, we need to schedule a driver. And he was like, we don't, it's gonna be okay. And literally our three minutes every time. And that may change. It may get better with more people coming to Merida. It may get worse uh, with more people coming to Merida. But for now, you call a car, three, three minutes, five minutes most, use uber to be like 10 sometimes if you're within the city yeah if you're yeah. within the peripherical yeah i guess where you get picked up from does have a lot to do with it and time of day and if it's raining people don't want to <laughs> you get don't want to drive yeah <laughs> you get juiced it's like prices double when it rains and it's yeah. still not that bad in the u.s yeah like because what the airport's like 30 minutes away mm -hmm. And I remember we were in Miami, we were taking the, the yeah, right. <laughs> we were in Miami, we were getting an Uber. It was like minimum $100 to go 15 minutes down the road. And here, every time we, if we take a Uber or another ride share to the airport, which is like a 30 minute drive, it's like 200 pesos. If <laughs> See you later. Grip on me. You got you got the jiu You got the jiu Bye guys, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye my little Mimi. So yeah, there's just things are 
less expensive here, um, but they are getting more expensive than they used to be. Mm -hmm. Reason number two. Reason number two. It's family friendly. Merida is very, very family friendly as far as the people. People seem to love kids. Uh, there's always an activity. Oh, Becca's really tired. Last Sorry. night was rough. Sorry. No, it's cool. Yeah, family friendly. So Nina can be in a lot of activities. Uh, a lot of the restaurants, you'll see like little playhouses. A little playhouses, they're my favorite. Yeah. My least. Um, there's a lot of kids, so, you know, one of the things they do out here with birthday parties, if you've seen the video, you may go to a party and you don't know whose party it is. Yeah, so things like the little gym, you know, for kids, there's dance schools for children, and these things aren't going to break you. Again, this piggybacks on for the cost of living, so you can have her, or you can have your kid in two to three different things. Um, okay. So yeah, it is really family friendly. Like there's lots of things to enroll <laughs> your kids in. Like we've looked at everything from taekwondo to gymnastics to swimming to dance to soccer, basketball. There's like there's everything you could want for your kids all over the city, all different areas, and it's not gonna break your bank like we could probably have nina and multiple extracurricular stuff and still be okay so yeah there's that part of it and then there's also just a lot of families here so even if you don't have your your kid in an extracurricular activity just going to the parks at night you can get a lot of interaction with other families other mm -hmm. kids there's constantly like bluey shows at the mall and little sh little things for kids they they really think about children when they are putting on events or like cam said like opening up restaurants yeah there's always something and within the foreigner community there's a lot of whatsapp groups and meetups and i don't know if you saw our last video about the halloween event mainly a lot of foreigner people but also some locals mixed in where you get like you get news about events, but also you can... But the other Halloween event was all local, so when you didn't go to, oh, yeah, that was yeah. like strictly local. Yeah. Not only do you get news about events, but you can get connected with other families. I'm in like three mother WhatsApp groups. So, yeah, that's a lot to do for families of kids all ages, honestly. Mm -hmm. We get, yeah, so we gotta get him some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And number three. Safety. And this is a big one. This is a big one. Because everyone's always complaining. Mexico's not safe. Mexico's gonna... Do, do. It's like, yeah, whatever. Every place isn't safe. Shoot. It's dangerous. Like, if you go to any... People are like, oh, uh, I think it was like a kidnapping in, along the border, which is one of the most dangerous places, I guess, along the border. Yeah. But then also, as it's like, it's because of the interest in the U.S. as well. It's just, yeah. Anyway, somebody, some people got, like, abducted, and then I'm like, don't, don't people get abducted every day in the U.S., in every major city, all the time? And it's like, people are acting like, oh. But it's this idea, this, like, sensationalized idea that Mexico is dangerous. Mm -hmm. But honestly, when I left the U.S., I felt more safe than I ever had in my whole life. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, there might be parts that are dangerous, but there's parts of everywhere that are dangerous. And Merida specifically in Mexico is the safest place. It's actually been rated the between the first and second safest city in North America. Yeah, it's up there with uh, Vancouver, Toronto. Uh, yeah. And I, I thought Vancouver had like a really bad drug problem. Yeah, but I don't know, drugs don't necessarily equate to danger. No. Um, yeah, so it's very, very safe here. You will see, what's kind of weird is you will see police with like tanks and like big armed guns and stuff, but um, it's what we've learned from people that live here is that that's kind of just more for show. Nothing really happens here as opposed to like Cancun, Playa del Carmen, in the north like cam said yeah. so there's there's really nothing like honestly i can walk alone at night pretty much anywhere in the city and feel pretty safe yeah like 
probably the most safe I've ever felt walking anywhere at night by myself. Yeah, there's just nothing really happening. Like, remember there was like petty theft at one point in our travels. Like, you know, you might get your phone stolen and you might get like your headphones taken yeah. if you leave them somewhere. But here I've left a lot of stuff lying around and nobody's stolen anything. Mm hmm yeah um, we've heard of people that have gotten like bikes stolen or whatever but it's not any different than i heard it was the expat that stole else. the bike maybe i don't know <laughs> I ain't um, here. Yeah. no at the gym they got their bikes stolen. oh you talking about over there ricardo's gym yeah oh okay someone left their gloves out too their gloves got stolen um uh, the skates got stolen at times yeah so there's like there's petty theft but just it's not huge Keep track of your stuff like you would anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing that I really like about how safe it feels is that I don't have to look over my shoulder every second when I'm out with Nina. I can feel in the States like fear of like, okay, where is she in relation to where I'm going, where are the exits, where are we going? Like there's just so much more stress around not only my safety, but now having her and having to think about like her in that sort of situation so obviously we teach her like stranger danger and general safety things but mm -hmm. we don't have to be as on guard as we are in the in the states about it yeah yeah that's a beautiful thing because like you don't want to be completely just like lacking any kind of awareness yeah. like situational awareness, awareness is very important mm -hmm. but i don't want to be living my life where every second i can't drop my guard Mm -hmm. that's not healthy um, yeah you can relax a little bit here because of how safe it feels and um, I think people just kind of have a general understanding with one another that you're not really trying to I don't know how to say this like no one's really trying to get over on each other as much here it seems like yeah yeah, nobody's. I mean, I you gotta pay a gringo tax every now and then. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's not that bad. Yeah. Like, it's not that. Yeah, it's, it's very safe. Like, just obviously don't do anything to, put, like, intentionally put yourself in harm's way. Number four culture. culture. I mean, this goes, like, pretty wide. Like, yeah. based on the way the community interacts with one another, mm -hmm. seeing, like, just, like, Mexican culture in general, but also, mm -hmm. like, Yucatan has, like, its own specific thing. Mm -hmm. um, Merida in yeah, Yucatan. Yeah, Merida in Yucatan. Like, it's, it's, like, seeing all the different cultures and seeing, like, you know, the historical, like, events and just... Feeling like the people, like <laughs> Yucatecos, Campechanos. Yeah, it's just like people are really friendly because of like the safety thing. You're not having to look over your shoulder every second. No one's as suspicious of people like other parts of the States or even other parts of Mexico that we travel to. You kind of feel like there's a little bit more distrust of people. But here I don't feel that at all. Like yeah. I feel super, super... Um, safe it feels like people are willing to help you it feels like people are willing to extend their trust to you a little bit sooner yeah so like culturally it's just it's a comfortable environment mm -hmm. to be in culturally as far as like the community as far as mm -hmm. the way people treat each other food um it's cool uh we've heard that there's like better places to get food in mexico mm -hmm. you could tend to like uh, not known for its cuisine but also because we're vegan, we kind of are limited in what it is that we can try. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, culturally, it's just, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. people just feel, um, it's way more laid back. Like sometimes yeah. that can be really frustrating for people, especially if you know, you're trying to like be somewhere at a certain time or like you're trying to get work done. People are just way more laid back about time. Yeah. Um, like, like, for instance, I had, we needed our ACs clean. And, um, I, you know, the guy was like, hey, can you come fix? Like, we need it as soon as possible. My mm -hmm. family's coming in. And he was like, yeah, I'll be there next week. And I was like, look, I'll pay you double if you just come and fix this AC. No, I'll be there next week. It's like, whew. Yeah, like, people don't really give you a specific time. If they do give you a specific time, don't expect that time to actually be 
what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, people just seem a little bit more just relaxed. Relaxed, yeah. They're not like grinding away and stressed and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if you're into like music, I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot of music. It's a big music scene. It's like yeah. a lot of... Um, Everyone be dancing all the time. <laughs> all the time, all the time. So yeah, if you're a big dancer, this is definitely a place for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, big, big place for you. Number five. Number five. <laughs> yeah, Nina, sure. come on. Reason number five. five. Location. 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 Exactly. So Merida is good location for a few reasons, just depending on what you're looking for in a city. Speaking of city, like if you want a bit of a city feel, but not super, super like built up, it's good for that. So yeah, it's city, but then you have access to the beach in Progresso, like mm-hmm. 25 minutes 30, away. Yeah, 25, 30, yeah. Yeah, depending on where you're in the city. Um, not only Progresso, but like a bunch, just basically all the beaches in on the Yucatan Peninsula. Yeah. Cancun's like four hours. Tulum is about the same. Yeah, with the Maya train, now it's gonna be even more accessible. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you'll be able to just like hop just right across um, the Yucatan. And just like Merida is located in a pretty nice spot as far as like weather, mm-hmm. um, like I said, you're close to the beach, but you're not too far to where you can't just go out if you want to, yeah. like last minute. So if you're like a hot weather climate person, you'll definitely get that here. There's not, it's never going to snow here unless some crazy climate change happens. I'm betting on it. <laughs> I think it's going to snow. Maybe. Yeah, I well, think it's we'll going to snow one day. Um, you're going to get caught off guard. I'm going to be, ooh. Having a good time. You get a decent amount of heat, and then in the winter months, it does get a little cooler. Mm -hmm. They have a rainy season, but it's not very noticeable. Like, Vietnam is noticeable. Like, Vietnam is... Yeah, where's the sun? Right, (laughs) like, it just starts raining one day, and then it doesn't stop for Yeah, and there's, like, like they said, there's different types of rain. Yeah, Forrest Gump was right. Yeah, Forrest Gump was right. (laughs) Um, But no, it's not like that here. Like, there's, um... You have There's access to a lot of things. Let me say this though. Mm-hmm. Let me say this though. You're also close to the U.S. You're close enough to where you can get a flight if you need to, quick. Mm-hmm. Um, close enough to South America if you want to go quickly out, you know, that direction. It's just located in a really great place. Even in Mexico, I would say it's pretty good. You're far enough to where you know you you don't get as much influence from the U.S. Mm-hmm. Which is what I want. Yeah. So it's located like just in general, great area. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Okay. All right, so there are your five reasons. Just to recap, safety, cost of living, uh, family-friendly, cultural, amazing, and location, wonderful. Uh, we'll go over more. There's tons of reasons why you should move to Merida, but also there's some why you shouldn't, and we'll go over that as well. Uh, we'll also go over some things we wish we would have known before moving here. Tons of different questions. And if you have questions as well, things you want to know, just go ahead and comment and let us know what you want to know about. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, all that, and you have a nice day. For more curiosity time. You all right? No, you okay? I'm not. I want to go take a nap. Okay, okay. It's all right. Oh, snap. My pasta is burning. <laughs>